I'm Mike Sullivan. Okay, we're gonna to talk today about how to make the three foot putt. It's gonna be a little bit of a system, but it's virtually foolproof to help you make 95% to 100% of your three footers. I did receive, it's a rare occasion for somebody to send me something for free, but I did receive this little item. This is a ball liner tool, and this is something that, hopefully it's not too blurry, you can see it. This is something that we're going to use today in this video to help you make all, your, all of your three foot putts. And this was sent to me by a company called At The Turn. They actually have a special offer where they're giving these things away for free. Uh, you just have to pay for shipping and handling. And it comes with some other little goodies in a package. Uh, so it's not really, it's seven bucks. Is that free or not? I don't know, but it includes shipping and handling. This is a very good quality item. Uh, I've used some ball liner tools before that don't clip onto the ball, and this thing works out really great. It's really easy to make lines on the ball, so I would highly recommend this. It's worth spending 10, 15 bucks on, as a matter of fact. Also, Tom Miller sent us some golf balls. He gave me these golf balls. Tom does all the club repair here. I went in to buy a sleep of balls from him and said, ah, oh, just take them. So we're taking them. So thank you, Tom, for the golf balls. Wilson staff. All right. So let's talk about how to make every single three foot putt. First thing is I'm going to measure off a three foot putt. I'll actually take that back. The first thing I'm going to do is put a chalk line on the ground. So I'm using one of these carpenters chalk lines right here. And uh, I just went ahead and put a line on the ground. I did not try to figure out if it was a straight putt. As a matter of fact, the general slope of the land here is a little bit this way, a little bit of a right to left type of a putt. So I'm going to put my yardstick down and make sure I've got a three footer. And then I'm going to use my little putting mirror. Now this putting mirror has got, this is what's nice, it's got these little holes in the back of it. Now these are used to help you you know, secure it to the ground with a tee. But also what's great is when you already, if you already have your line drawn, right? If it's already drawn, I can look through the holes and make sure I'm gonna have good alignment. And then I'm gonna put some tees down in a couple of those holes. Now this one still has plastic covering, so I'm gonna have to pop through the plastic here, right? So this is gonna help me make sure I've got really good alignment. I think also you could probably leave the tees up a little bit to help you with your back, string, back swing length, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. We just want to know we've got the right alignment here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I've got a three foot putt. It's a hair over three feet actually. The next thing that I wanna do, so I already know I'm gonna be able to get my putter lined up with my target. Well, when we play golf on the course, we can't use any of this type of stuff, but what we can do is use our golf ball as an alignment aid. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line on the golf ball. It was not my intent to plug anybody in doing this type of a video, but I will tell you, you know, these guys did send me this stuff. It's very good. This is a really good tool because you'll notice here, I'm able to put a line on the ball and clamp this thing in super easy. And I can put little hash marks on it too for a square putter face. This is definitely, in my opinion, a better option than just using the label on the ball. Like some golf balls already have a little arrow on the side. I think this is, this is much better. Okay, put that in there. All right, so now I'm going to get my ball on my line. Okay, so as we look down the target line here, we can see that I'll be able to get on top of this ball and I'm gonna be able to get a really good handle on my alignment, all right? Now from here, I'll tell you a quick little story. So <clears throat> I've always been a pretty good putter, um, but I'm not, I haven't always made all my putts. You know, sometimes you go through like little ebbs and flows. Well, to get out of a little rut, I would typically just put a line on the green and, kind of, and just show myself I can roll a, a putt on the line. 
And then one day I was doing that drill with uh, another instructor and he was watching me. And what was going on was when I was putting on the line, I was lining up directly at the target and stroking the ball solid, everything was good. When I wasn't putting on the line, I was still making the putts. To me, it felt like the putts weren't as solid. And what my friend told me was, I was actually lining up everything to the left and shoving the putts to the right up the actual target line. So subconsciously, I was making a less efficient stroke. So, so I'd go back to the line, the stroke would get correct. I'd get away from the line, the stroke would immediately go back to what I was comfortable with. So I had to practice like this a little bit to change the habit, okay? Um, you'll notice also that I'm not playing any break here. The overall slope of this green is a little bit from my right to left, but from a three foot putt, if you hit it dead center right up the middle, you're almost always gonna make it. And if there's a ton of break, hopefully you'll be able to see it and play a little bit of break uh, when you get on the golf course. So here's the idea. I'm just gonna practice with this putting meter, me mirror, and my line, and my golf ball, and I'm just gonna adjust that a little bit, make it square. Now what I also like is this mirror allows you to look down and see what your eye alignment is, meaning I don't wanna look at this, uh, this ball with my eyes kinda cockeyed this way or this way. I wanna make sure I have good eye alignment. The other thing I love about this mirror, uh, there's a old, I don't know how old it is, but there's a old rule of thumb you could say where they say, hey, you gotta get your eyes directly on top of the, uh, the target line, but most PGA Tour players actually, when they putt, their eyes are a little bit inside of it. And this red line right here is gonna help us get our eyes a little bit inside as well as aligned correctly. So I really like that a lot. So here we go. I'm just gonna set up, take a look at my target and knock it in. Okay, the other thing I really like about putting with a line is that if your stroke, and this green is kind of bumpy, and by the way, so we have, we have a, a green with a break in it and it's bumpy. And I'll tell you, all I gotta do is make sure that I'm lined up at the hole, hit that thing straight like the first inch and be firm and it's going in. Well, what I also like about the line as I was starting to say is this ball should roll you know, we should roll end over end if we hit it solid and we have a square club face. If I cut across this a little bit, you're gonna see that we're gonna have a weird wobble to that line. So even though it didn't look like it rolled perfect before because of the, um, the bumpy green, it was a heck of a lot better than when I cut across it. I personally do like the line for most people because you can use it as an alignment aid. As you go to, say, a hole up here, you can get behind it and you can line that ball up with where you're going. Uh, I do like the idea for almost everybody to use it. However, if you want to feel like, hey, when I get on the course, if my alignment isn't perfect, I don't want that to, I don't want to miss it because I, I, I'm, I'm picking the wrong line or something, or my stroke isn't perfect. I, I wanna give myself a chance just to make it through feel. And those types of people sometimes put better with just looking at the white part of the ball, okay? So, you know, I, I think pretty much everyone is going to be a better putter by putting a line on the ball. Um, a few people might do a little bit better without using that line. Now, I will tell you something else. As far as this whole thing goes, even if you don't wanna use the line, the line on the ball, the chalk line, <laughs> Putting on a chalk line is huge. That is something that's really gonna help you putt better because you're gonna hit the putt more solid because you're gonna have the putter face in the path going the same direction at impact. So putting on a line is awesome. Putting on a line with a line on the ball is even better. So work on that, three foot putts, take the break out, get really good at just hammering those things in the hole. Your strokes are gonna go down and golf will be a lot more fun. Thank you.